Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Silent Core and welcome back to my GTA Online money making series. So a lot of you guys have been asking me, Silent Core, I want a money making guide for poor people, so making money from scratch. And that's exactly what I'm going to be doing today. I'm going to be taking you guys through basically just five different steps that you need to make a million dollars in just basically a day's work. So whether you've just started in GTA Online or you've just went on a bit of a spending spree and need to rebuild like I tend to do, this video should hopefully help you out. However, before we get into this video, I want you guys to head over to this app and enter promo code. I'm just kidding. Let's get right into the video. So step number one is to make your first $50,000. Now, if you've just started the game, then making your first 50k is going to be a bit of a hustle. But once you've got that in the bank, you're going to open an absolutely awesome money-making method. And it's not really going to take you long at all to make, just play the game really, you know, complete the first few online missions, or even take part in some of the free mode challenges as they appear in the lobby when you're playing in the free roam. I believe they appear every 12 minutes in game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put an awesome guide on screen for you guys, and if you use these strategies, basically you can win every single free mode challenge and get the first place and get yourself a nice payout at the end. When you reach rank 15, you're also going to unlock daily challenges. Now these are going to give you $25,000 and 3,000 RP for just completing three small daily objectives. So they only take just maybe 20 minutes a day to complete and you get yourself a nice reward. And you actually also get a bonus if you do them every day for a whole week. I believe you get a bonus of $100,000. And if you do them for 28 days in a row, you're also going to get a bonus of $500,000. So you're going to get a really nice bonus of just completing these every day that you log into GT Online. And the best part about these daily challenges is that your progress is not reset if you miss a day and don't log into GT Online that day. The day is only counted as missed if you do log into GT Online that day and don't complete them. So if you have a day you're away for the weekend or something, just don't log into the game and you'll still keep your progress for these 28 days to get the bonus next time you log in the game. GTA Online usually also has a featured adversary mode where you can get double cash and RP. Now these are a bit of a hit or miss, some weeks some are more fun than others so just check the Rockstar Newswire to see the current featured adversary mode um, or even just use the shortcut on your phone to take you straight through it. And these are you know, a great way to get some quick cash with no startup capital and just have some fun while you're at it. And also one last quick tip if you're just starting out, if you want a decent free sports car then you should um, definitely go ahead and get the Elegy RH8. It's absolutely free on all platforms and um, when you sign up for Rockstar's social club. So that's basically their social hub website where you can um, sign up for any Rockstar games. So it's probably worth signing up anyway and you get a free sports car out of doing it. So I definitely recommend picking this up. Once you've got $50,000 in your bank account, you unlock step number two. And this is the ability to start an organization as a VIP. And you don't even need an office to do this. All you need is just the $50,000 in your bank. Now, the previous requirement to do this was actually to have a million dollars in your bank, but Rockstar actually changed this. A lot of people don't know that you only need $50,000 in your bank account now to do this. So if you have friends online or even some other players in the lobby that want to join you to make some money, you can do that with other people. Or you can even do this method solo, which is also quite nice. Once you've registered as a VIP, you can then select the VIP work missions to complete for a nice payout. The three I'd recommend are either Sightseer, Hostile Takeover or Headhunter. You're going to be getting over $20,000 for each one you complete and they really don't take long to complete all, you can complete them in just a few minutes when you get efficient and start practicing them. Now last of all, the absolute best thing about the VIP work is the fact that you don't even have to do this in a public lobby. You can go into a lobby all by yourself or even in an invite only lobby and you don't have to worry about any other players griefing you or killing you during your money making and routine, you can do this all by yourself. Once you've got at least rank number 12 and $200,000 in the bank, you're ready for step number 3 and that's to buy an apartment. And you might be wondering, Silent Core, if I want to make money, why should I spend so much money on an, apart an apartment? Now it is a little bit of an investment, you do have to put down this capital first of all, however it unlocks a very powerful money making method which is unlocked through the heist planning room. If you haven't already bought an apartment, I'd totally recommend the Del Perro Heights apartment. Number 7, it's one of the cheapest high-end apartments you can buy and that will include a heist room and also a 10 car garage and for you know $200,000 that's an absolute bargain. Of course you can complete heists with other players that have an apartment themselves but the best part of having a heist room yourself is the fact that you can actually host the heist yourself. 
when you are the host of a heist, you choose your squad, you choose the payouts, and a lot of the time the host will actually take a larger percentage of the final cut than the other players too, so it's going to be more profitable for you actually hosting them. Now before you go rushing into the heist with matchmaking, bear in mind playing with randoms is very dangerous. Dangerous in the sense that you don't want to catch any incurable diseases from playing with some of the, the GT Online players that the matchmaking has to offer. So what I do when I want to find good players to heist with is I have two places bookmarked that are guaranteed to find good, reliable heist players that usually always have microphones to communicate with. These two sources are the heist team's reddit page, you can basically scroll down and see all of the other people on here looking for crewmates or even looking to heist and on which platform they're playing on. Another one of my favourite sources at the moment is the GTA Online Discord. I'll have a link to this Discord community in the description of this video. I'm also an active member in this group so you'll probably see my name on the list a lot or see me looking in here for people to play with. And uh, yeah, it's just a really awesome community and I totally recommend getting involved with it. So for making money with heists, there's five different heist missions that have a varying amount of profit and difficulty. And there's also a whole host of challenges that you should most definitely try to hit. And don't forget about these challenges because each one has a very nice and monetary bonus for completing. Now I actually managed to complete the Criminal Mastermind Challenge and got myself the 10 million dollars bonus with actually playing with just random people. I actually found these people just through the reddit page as I mentioned earlier and those are people that I just carried on playing with even after completing the challenge so it's a great way to you know not only make a lot of money but also just meet some new people in GT Online. Now as you can see I could quite easily end the video here and just say just do heist to 1 million dollars alone but for the purpose of this video I'm going to show you guys a few more methods. So moving on to step number 4, if you don't already own an office, it's going to open up a lot of new content for you in GTA Online. In my opinion, the best office to go for is the Maze Bank West office. It costs a million dollars, however, you got to spend money to make money, right? If you're just starting out, don't bother buying any of the extra modifications such as the safe or the gun locker. They're not essential and you can basically buy those later if you need them. From here, you can either invest your money into vehicle cargo work or special cargo work. I'd actually recommend starting with special cargo because efficiency wise is one of the most profitable businesses in the game. Basically the bigger the warehouse, the more profit you can make. The cheapest warehouse is the convenience store lockup which costs um, about $250,000. Once you've got yourself set up with a warehouse, what you can do is use the laptop in your office to buy crates and then transport them to your warehouse and then once the warehouse is full, you can then sell that whole warehouse for a very nice big chunk of money. I have made a whole in-depth video on how to make yourself most efficient and increase your profit per hour doing this method. But basically, when it comes down to buying crates, you have three different options. You can either buy one crate at a time, two crates at a time, or three crates at a time. Now, buying one crate at a time is more cost effective. However, buying more three crates at a time is more time effective. Therefore, if you're going to be doing this for long term, it's always better to buy the three crates at a time because you're not wasting valuable time that you could then put into even making even more money through other money making methods, if that makes sense. If you want to know more about this method, I will link my in-depth video on it and it kind of explains the maths and better for this method for you to understand. Lastly, step number five is to ensure that you're going to be generating passive income while you play GT Online. And that's the dream, right? While you play GT Online, do races, you know, um, stunt races, heists, or even just AFKing in the lobby. You want your businesses to be making you profit, right? Now, there's two businesses that I thoroughly recommend you get involved with. First of all is the gun running bunker. You're going to be paying about 1.1 million for the cheapest bunker. However, you can leave this business for hours unattended to make around $90,000 per hour. And it's a very hands-off business and uh, you know the more that you play GT Online, the more profit that your gun running bunker is going to bring you. The second method I can recommend is to own an MC business. So to do this, you'll need first of all a clubhouse. I believe the cheapest one is the great um, Chaparral clubhouse that costs $200,000. That's the cheapest one. And then you also have to choose your business type. The most profitable business type is the Coke one and the cheapest Coke lockup is by Alamo C for just under $1 million. In my opinion, the MC businesses aren't as good as the gun running ones because they, they need a little bit more hands-on time and um, you're going to be putting more time and effort into keeping this running and it's going to generate you a slightly less profitability per hour. So you're only making 70k per hour compared to the 90k per hour that your gun running bunker is going to be making you. 
However, of course, if you want to have them running at the same time, you can be generating money from both of them at once. Now, if you're interested in the maths for these business, Epilypto has done some amazing work on the profitability and even the hours of work required to break even on the initial costs of these businesses. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video on how to make your first a million dollars and get rich in GT Online. Be sure to share it with any of your friends if they're just starting out in the game or are just poor noobs and they need a, a little bit of a helping hand in making some money and getting started. Don't forget to leave a like on the video, it really does help support this money making series and subscribe so you don't miss out on any other future awesome methods that I'll be sharing. I'll also have linked on screen a few other in-depth money making guides on operating these businesses if you want to check those out. So have yourselves a great day and I'll catch you in the next one.